Have you wondered how to use the Unity built-in Sprite Atlas as a texture atlas? I know I have, and if you're like me, you've searched online without finding what you're looking for. This tutorial assumes that you already know how to use a Unity Sprite Atlas, and I will not be going over that. What I will be showing you is how to use the Sprite Atlas in a way that you can use the same Unity Sprite Atlas for retrieving sprites and be able to use a similar concept for textures and quads. So if you're here specifically for that, then you're at the right place. Hi, I'm known online as Des, an indie developer and somewhat of an apprentice wizard. We will start with a new blank Unity Universal Render Pipeline 3D project. For this tutorial, we'll be using the free asset provided on the Unity Asset Store. I did not create this artwork and I'm using it only to demonstrate this tutorial to you. If you're interested in this free asset, link is in the description below. Let's start with creating some folders for images, atlas, and scripts. If you're starting with the Unity URP 3D project like me, you will need to install the Unity 2D packages from the package manager. This will take some time to install. Now we can bring in our sprite sheets and slice the individual sprites within those sheets to meet our project requirements. I will also add the sprite sheet for the particle system that I'll be using later on. At this point, we will create our Unity Sprite Atlas and set the appropriate properties in the inspector. Make sure to disable Allow Rotate and Tight Packing, then set the filter mode to point because it is pixel art. Now we will add our images folder containing the sprite sheets and build our atlas. If you can't build the atlas, you will need to go to Edit Project Settings, enable the sprite packer mode, and you should be able to build at this point. Moving on to the UI objects, we will create a standard button. I prefer to use canvas world space because this gives me better control, but your preference may differ. Duplicate the button with shortcut control D and move it over to the right. Create a 2D sprite with the sprite renderer and move it to the desired location like so. Create a 3D quad and reposition the game object similar to what we did with the sprite. Select our four game objects and move them to make some more room on the right, then create a particle system which we will use afterward. Now let's create two script files for our sprite and our quad. The scripting we will write are not difficult once you understand the concept. Of course, we need to attach the script component files to the appropriate sprite and quad game objects in the inspector. For the sprite script, we need access to the sprite atlas, so we have to include U2D. The serialized variable will make our atlas easily accessible. The randomized function will call another function to get a random sprite and assign it to the sprite renderer. The getRandomSprite function will look at the atlas for the total count of sprites, randomly select a sprite and return it. Next step is to make a basic material for our quad. I highly recommend organization by adding folders. After creating the material, assign it to the quad in the inspector and set it as unlit with transparency. This script for the quad will have some similarities to the sprite script we just made, meaning we will need a serialized field for our atlas. The randomize function will call get random sprite. This time we will scale the game object to match our sprite game object and we will come back to this section later. The get random sprite function will be the exact same as before. You could even copy and paste it from the other script file into this one. This is where we begin to deviate from the other script file. We need to get access to the mesh renderer and from that we get the material. The texture reference in the sprite points us to the entire atlas texture. To properly use it, we need to set the main texture offset and the main texture scale. To obtain the texture offset, we will use the vector2 value in UV index position 2, more on this later. To obtain the scale, we subtract the vector2 in UV index position 2 from index position 1, so let's look at this in more detail. Our sprite atlas uses a traditional XY coordinate system. Each sprite within this atlas has a UV mapping that tells us exactly where it is. UV0 is the top left corner. UV1 is the top right corner. UV2 is the bottom left corner. And UV3 is the bottom right corner. The Unity Material main texture offset is the bottom left corner. 
The material main texture scale, also known as tiling, is the difference between the bottom left corner and the top right corner. With that out of the way, we need to assign our game object serialized field atlas references for the sprite and the quad. Following that, we need to set each button's Unity onClick event to the sprite and quad script component randomized function that we made earlier. Our final step is to set the particle system textures, which is another way of saying setting the sprites that will be used for the particle system. If you like this tutorial, please press the like and subscribe button and add a comment below to help with engagement and discoverability so that others can discover this tutorial. And if you want to see what I'm working on, you're welcome to watch my live game dev broadcasts on Twitch or on YouTube on Tuesdays and Fridays. See you next time.